You know, the this quickest way to go viral is to be toxic. I think that's come on, man. Issue. Come on, man. Listen, listen, listen. It's not enough. It's not enough to just have a father figure. I'm gonna bring it all the way back. It's not enough to just have a father figure in your life. You have to have a great father. You have to have a father that exemplifies masculinity. You have to have a father that understands the principles and a hierarchy between God and man and woman and child. You have to have strong, steadfast, and he don't even have to be rich. He just have to have core principles. Character is more important than money. You got motherfuckers justifying future and Nick Cannon running around having a whole bunch of children. Every one of these dudes, all, all, think about it. Every rapper who's rich, child grows up and turns out to be a king with T.I. And he want to follow in the same footsteps as their father. So if all you want to do is be a rapper when you grow up, how productive were you and how great were you with regard to your resources affecting other people in a positive way? Right. You have to be a great father. You can't just be present. You have to be participant, a participant and participatory in their lives. You have to impact them with your actions and the view in which you, you operate. And you have to input into them, which translates into how it is that they're going to live their life. And that's why the Bible itself says input into a child what it is that you want to. And when they're young, it'll never depart from them. Right. You have to be great. You cannot just be OK. You cannot be mediocre. You cannot be halfway. Because you lose, you absolutely lose one hundred percent of the time. What's an example of like a a, a good father figure that you see? Um, the, a black father. That I am. See, I huh? am the example. Real, real shit. But who 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 else? Or do you not even like? Or do you, just just for you know um, conversation's sake, like who 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 in the media represents a good father figure? Because I think you Anton know, from AntonDaniels.com. <laughs> real shit. Okay. I'm I'm the, I'm the I'm the standard bear. Flat out. Can you name anybody else? I don't need to. I look in the mirror. I'm just saying like you said the conversation shake. My this father is, this is in the media you don't see that like people aren't just out here being good dads in the media it's not yeah, I'm saying yeah. Besides people who may know you, like we, we, we thought Will Smith was a good dad. I think but, your answer or there or 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 lack of is is you know uh would be eye opening because I think like there really, in, in my personal opinion, there really isn't uh, an example like you, you, of what you said, you know, there's, there's, that's you know, like, I actually read, I, 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 read, read, I, I read, I read some today. This is probably off topic, but they said that Eminem was supposed to go on like a, like a two year tour or something with um, 50 cent and some more rappers. And he said that he didn't go because he didn't want to miss his daughter growing up. Wow. I, I don't know pretty, anything about that. I, I think I that's, that's pretty that. that's pretty admirable. I don't I don't know anything about that, but all I know is the standards is in the toilet. We don't even know what the standards are anymore. And I think yeah. that Candace Owens is 100 percent right. I think that most of the time you can see women that were raised without a father in their lives, let alone a good father in their lives, and they they carry on the the trauma and the toxicity that they learned from their mothers and the people that surround them that then carries with them and then their children. And they, it turns into a generational curse. And I think that Ariana Grande is a very good example of that. A hundred percent. It's definitely a trickle down uh, thing. I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, having, having a father in a household is, is most definitely, you know, important, especially, you know, for a daughter, but I do agree with what you're saying, Anton, especially when it comes to the type of father, you know, does he have good character? And, you know, does he have knowledge and morals and values to pass down to his children? That's, that's very, um, that's very important. But the, la the last TV dad that y'all got is good. Would you say LeVar Ball is, you know, based on what you see, you don't know behind the scenes, nobody does, but... Mm -hmm. Based yeah, on no, what you see, do you think that he's a good would you know it would be considered a good father? I think that he's a phenomenal father. Yeah. And you know why? It's not even that he promotes his children. That doesn't make him a great father. That's that's just him marketing, right? And him making money. Cool. But the thing that makes him a great father is the fact that he's stuck by the fucking mother, even though the mother is fucked up. Mm. That's what makes him a great father. It's the, listen, the things that you do in this lifetime 
is the things that people pay attention to. That's what it's all about. It's about the measure of a man is doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. When you have options to do other things and you can and you can move on and you can do greater things, but you choose to do the thing that's the right thing to do, that's the true measure of a man. And the very fact, and see, people ignore and they talk about the shoes and all of that shit. Fuck that. What about the fact that he held down his family and he held down his wife, even though she was messed up? That's the thing that makes you great as a man. It's the example that you set before you. Now, his children are still young. Right. They're still young as hell. So they not they haven't even really grown up to be the men that they're going to be. That we don't know what they're going to turn out to be. But as far as the example that he set as a man and the fact that he stand on what he stand on, it absolutely makes him a great father. 100 percent. Right. That ain't how many women you fuck. It ain't how many seeds you plant. It ain't how many kids that you have. Is whether or not you are a, a benefit to those that is around you when you are a man of your word in a positive way. That's what makes you a great man. It's doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. Right. And by when I said trickle down effect, it starts in the home. So, you know, whatever you reinforce in your home, especially when it comes to your children, that's how they're going to act amongst society. So it starts in the home first and then it goes out into the community and then from the community into, you know, the other parts. Oh, fuck the, the community. We don't care about the community. Uh, but yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. But what I'm saying is as far as it impacting the world, like in, impacting other people that they're around, you know what I'm saying? So how you're mm -hmm. raised or whatever says a lot. And it, it, it reflects on your parents. So I know growing up, like, you know, my father, my mother and my father got a divorce like later on in life, but that wasn't like until I was like 14, 15 years old. But I remember my father being in the house. I remember him, um, you know, his discipline, even though he wasn't, he didn't, well, he didn't have to like, as far as spanking and stuff like that, that was like my mom, like, my father, all my father had to do was just look at me a certain way. And it was like, okay, I'm not playing that game no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know what that look is. You know, so my father was present where he, you know, instilled discipline to me and my brother. I have an older brother. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely important. And it's like my father showed me how a man is supposed to treat me by how he treat, treated my mother, you know, which wasn't always perfect, but, you know, I learned from White him. said it wasn't always perfect. I mean, because him and my mother, of course, they argued, they went through, you know, their stuff. And my father wasn't always, um, I would say, like, faithful. You know, I do have a sister outside. Um, oh, he was a Rolling Stone? Yeah, my, my father, he, you know, like I said, he wasn't perfect, but you know what I'm saying? I remember him being in the household and I remember him, you know, disciplining us and teaching us to the best of, of, of his ability to what he what what he learned. And, hmm. you know, um, so, I mean, like I said, well, would you consider him great? Would you consider him a great father? But I consider him a great father. Yeah. I would say that. You be honest. You yeah. Be honest. I would, I would, I mean, it's a little bit sentimental to me because he, well, I mean, he passed away like over 15 years ago, but, um, condolences. Thank you. I would say that my father was as great as he can, as, as he could have been. Was he? I believe, I believe to me, as far as me, a great husband is different, but father, I would say that he was, he was a, he was a great father. Um, to the best of his ability. Like I said, I know he he did have a lot of issues. What do you mean to the best of his? I don't know what that means, to the best of his ability. As much as he could be. As much as he learned to be. Like his presence was there. My graduations, he's, he was there. You know, when I would talk to him about certain things in regards to boys, of course he would say, you know, you have time for that. Like, you know, you... You have time for that. Your your studies is what's what's most important. You know, you grow up to be a good, uh, you know, a good woman. Do you, do you look at men? 
Do you look at men differently based off of how it is that he performed as a husband in the household? Do I look at him different? No, no, no. Do you look at men differently? Look at men different? Yeah, like how do you see relationships? Like, do you see, do you think that it's a possibility or a strong possibility that, you know, if you were a guy mm -hmm. that you can be with him for the for the, you could be with him for the extended period of time that you're with him, but he's he's definitely gonna cheat during that time, during that process. I would say that I believe in I don't believe I used to run. Like when it comes to relationships, if I see mm -hmm. you around the corner, I used to run. But now you used I to run from what? Used to run from what? I used Relationship? To run from like, let's say if it's a situation where okay, you have female friends, I don't trust that. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're not. You're telling me that you're gonna do something and then you don't do it. Like, oh, we're supposed to go out, and the next thing you know, you had this thing going on or whatever. Or mm -hmm. I, I like people that, especially the man that I'm with, I like for him to be a a, a, a man of his word. If you tell me you're gonna do something, then do it. If mm -hmm. you can't do it or you're not gonna do it, then just say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I don't. So you used to run. Do you think that that could be attributed to the relationship that you seen your father have with your mother? Possibly. Hmm. Possibly. So him being a good husband also attributed to him being a great father. I, def I definitely believe it correlates. Yeah. I definitely believe it correlates. Yeah. It so if that be the case, and I don't want to get on you too much because I know that, you know, this is sentimental to you. If that be the case, was he still a great father? Did he do? Oh, let me revise that. Did he do as best as he could? I would say he did. Hmm. I would okay. say, he did. and the only reason why I would say he did is because, like I said before, he no matter what he was present in the household. He was present in the household. He didn't leave no matter what. You know, he he was there. You know, in, whenever I needed to talk to him, or you know, we had downtime and we laughed together, and you know, we ate ice cream and cookies together and watched cartoons together, like. I just remember all of that. He was there at my graduations. He was present. I you feel know? you. I feel you. So it's like some fathers would just, you know, unfortunately won't even stick around or they'll be around half the time. Or, mm. you know, I could say that up until I was 14, 15 years old, until they got divorced, he was, you know, he was there and he was there after the fact. But I feel you. It, it was his presence that was more so than anything else, you know? I'm with it. I'm with it. Quentin, you all right over there? Yeah, man, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. What's, I'm the, what's the problem? What's the, what's the issue? That's a good point. Oh, uh, Miss like, Sanchez talking shit in the chat. It was just what's, what's got me all flustered. I got you. Oh, yeah, we, um, um, you asked about um, a man, and um, I'd say LeBron James um, seems to be a stand up kind of guy. What's the example? 